Hey guys, it's Keith, your friendly neighborhood confused person, and I'm going to be playing Child of Light because I was thinking about playing it because it's new and it looks interesting. It's a weird side-scrolling puzzle platforming Japanese RPG style game from Ubisoft of all people with using the two-dimensional cartoon engine that powered Rayman Origins and Rayman Legends. And then not only was I thinking about playing it, but then someone else suggested I play it and I'm like, well, fuck it, I'll just play it now. Let's just start this little adventure, this beautiful, beautiful adventure that just started trying to do cutscenes on me. You've downloaded the Golem's Plight downloadable content. That's right, this game came out today, but it has DLC already. In fact, it's a $15 game, and it has $15 of DLC. That's concerning to me, because, you know, that's a trend I don't love, but... I, whatever, I went ahead and bought the one DLC that didn't- that actually seemed story relevant, and... I hope I don't regret it. <laughs> Three dollars, I think. I actually don't even remember what that is, Aaron Stone. Oh. Maybe all of these were just part of the DLC I already got. It's just a bunch of things being listed as part of one thing. I just... I don't... I just don't want to do... I don't care about Uplay. Ubisoft, chill. It's okay. You don't... I don't need it. It's not important. Hello, options. Are you important? Nope. Yeah, none of these seem like things I should skip. Okay, let's do normal difficulty. Let's just start this on normal. Here we go. What's gonna happen? I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> Spontaneously buying games that look kind of pretty. And now they're loading. Child, tuck yourself in bed and let me tell a story of Lemuria, a long lost kingdom and a girl born for glory. In Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke. Aurora was his daughter, child of a duchess mysterious, beloved by her father. He raised the girl alone. They were rarely apart, till the duke felt lonely and misplaced his heart. It was the Great Friday before Easter 1895. Players performed for the duke, his new bride at his side. That night, Aurora went to sleep. The fire burned down low. She caught a chill that spread. Her skin was cold as snow. At dawn, they found her, vacant. Aurora's light gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land instead. What am I seeing? I must be dreaming. Chapter 1, The Girl and the Firefly Well, would you look at this? Father! Wake me up from this slumber! Always go left first. <laughs> I'm the god of going the wrong way. What am I gonna find over here? Ooh. The movement's pleasant in this game. The visuals actually remind me of- it actually feels like a much more detailed version of the sort of visuals I got from Dust and Elysian Tale. Which I've actually considered playing before, but I don't know if I will. It all depends on you guys, ultimately. I might be wasting my time by going left, but I have to check- ooh, what's that? Left, to the Tree of Thorns. What's the tree- what's the Tree of Thorns? What am I gonna find by going the wrong way? I'm gonna find that I can't go that way. Okay. 
I guess I should have seen that coming. Games don't always- ooh, wow. Wait, can I go secret somewhere? Can I go in a secret place? Is it gonna move? Maybe not. I thought I was moving the branch like I was gonna be able to actually go that way. But I suppose not. I should just go ahead and accept that I should go right like in every platformer. Anyway, it looks like I'm playing as a girl who may have died right to the old monastery. So I may be dead in some way. The sort of ha woods darker than night. Shadows lost of light. It reminds me of um Eternal Sonata. There we go. Which is this game, it's a Japanese RPG where you play as this guy that loves music and he seems to catch some sort of horrible disease and he seems to be dying or something. And in this weird dream world you experience while he's dying, you go on crazy adventures in Japanese RPG land. And I don't know how it ends or where it ultimately goes because I got tired of playing it because that often happens in Japanese RPGs, but... I know, but the, you know, like the, the get, the, uh, from the get-go, this kind of reminds me of that concept a bit. I wonder if I should have gone in that cave, or if I'm gonna... The dream is form of frigid air. Dark spirits fly, I know not where. I'm curious to see... Oop! That looks nasty. Keep it away. I don't like spiders. Hopefully I'm not just gonna meet a dead end. No! Wake up! Wake up! Nightmare, let me wake! Papa, where are you? My heart shall break. Will someone please explain how water falls with no rain? Who spoke? I did. Shake the dew from your eyes. Before molt grows, that's common sense. A firefly that speaks advice. My supper must have been too dense. Food sounds good, but I am lost. Ever heard of an aurora? Why, sir, she is me. Both sir and she, a split aura. Perhaps you are some kind of flora. Cease your foolishness at once. I am aurora, I am she. Oh, why didn't you say so? Follow me. A lady waits, hair long as a forest stream. With skin like moths and gleaming eyes. A seer. She'll know the way out of the stream. That's adorable, by the way. They're speaking in prose. Aw. They're speaking to each other in prose. Oh, look at her hair. Look at the way it moves when you turn. Huh. And you can move him around, or her, or it. I don't know if it really... Gender probably doesn't apply in this case. So you can move it around with the right stick. Which I assume will do something. Ooh! We can make it glow. Really brightly. We got a giant in the background. And some birds. Hopefully I don't have to fight that. Oh! Oh, I just depleted his meter by making him shine. Oh, you can toggle it on and off by clicking it again. Well, I should have should pay more attention to that. What is tied to these branches? Curious charms, little hands fasten tight. Don't you know? These are wishes. Wishes of light left in darkest night. Follow the orange one t to find more. Bright. Do we do it with the right stick? Oh. I guess that's a tutorial. Wishes taste delicious. Have a bite. Wait until I tell father about this night. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna love this game. Let's go pick that up with the stick. There we go. That takes some practice. I did a little reading about this game, and apparently this little assistant I have here... Come back here, guys. There we go. Which, by the way, the part where one of them glows a different color, and then it changes color as you collect them all one by one, like, that reminds me... It's, uh, well, yeah, there we go. They even come out in a stream. This That's actually just... That's straight out of Rayman Legends and Rayman Origins. That's interesting. I did a little bit of reading about this game, though, and... Apparently, if you play two-player mode, uh, the second player can control this little guy, which isn't a ton of gameplay, because mostly I'm doing everything, I assume, but it means I don't have to awkwardly do them at the same time, so this will take some practice getting used to. Let's check out this door. The path's right over this tree, but I cannot fly there with thee. Oh. Well. 
Oh. Trapped. The door is barred. A scepter round. A translucent sphere. Clear as glass. The answer. Sir Firefly, ignite your rear. Whoa, I barely know you. Do it, and I'll show you. Oh, this got dirty. The three scepters, a shadow cast. Oh! We have to match the symbols fast. You hold L2 and let go. Oh, okay. I was clicking the right stick to make him glow, which apparently is a tot. So, right stick is a toggle, but holding left stick... I mean, holding re left trigger is an ongoing thing. So do I make these three things glow? Oh! Oh! You have to make them... There we go, I get it. To make the, the lights overlap while trying not to deplete his meat. Ah, I did it, I did it. His meter's depleted. Don't fade on me! Don't fade on me! I'm waiting for his meter to come- There we go. Sir Flyer, Fly. Our path is clear. But who would put a door here? This game's beautiful. I say while seeing blackness and nothing else. Who is she, I wonder? Remove the sword, under. Who spoke? Some sort of ghost? The Lady of the Forest, I'm sure of this. Aurora, take the sword of... That word. <laughs> Manthidus? I assume it had to rhyme, so I must have been close. Let's get this glowy sword. Am I a sun bro now? It feels real. Look at it gleam. Oh, well, fuck that. Run, that thing looks mean. Fortunately, I wield a sword in this dream. What if it's not a dream? What if you die in the... What if when you die in the Matrix, you die in the real world? Oh, hello. Oh, thank God, it pauses when someone gets there. Okay. I was concerned that this was going to be a very fast, real-time game all of a sudden. So I can flee, I can do party stuff, which I don't have anyone yet, act, or potion. So, obviously, I'm going to act. I can defend immediately, or do a medium slash time. I don't know how long the medium slash time lasts, though, but I, I, I assume I should just go for it and practice. Slash! Hey! I interrupted his ability. Cool. But now he's going to get to do something back on me. I took two damage. Hopefully I'm doing more damage back at him than he is doing to me. Let's, do for, let's go for another slash. I think this is going to work out for me. They're not talking about combat tactics yet in the tutorial, so I assume that just hitting the shit out of everything will work out. This is very foul language for such an adorable and child-friendly game. Oh well. I have a horrible filter outside of work environments, so it's true. This is beautiful. I wonder how much time was spent uh, actually painting all of this. I think this was made by a... Someone who makes action, like first person action games, this might be like the Far Cry team even, which is not what you would expect at all. And then we load. This is what I always expected actually. I always completely ready for the loading part. Oh father, how much father? Aura, what is a father? That is simple, I am his daughter. Well that's not going to confuse him at all. What is a father? It's... Th I don't know, but I'm his daughter. That's great. Okay, that's, that explains everything. I'm glad you could resolve this for- ah! <laughs> It was angry at me! Hello! How are you doing? No. What if I slow you down? Does this help? Okay. I don't think it helped. Oh wait, no, he attacked first. Maybe I should defend since he's already going first. Come at me, bro. Well. Wait, he still hasn't actually done his, def his attack yet? Should I keep defending? Maybe. There we go. I defended against his attack, but he made me. Did he make me slower? Oh, he set me back. Wow, this game is making me rhyme without script. <laughs> I successfully defended his attack. Did it make me slower? It set me back. <laughs> oh dear lord. It's gonna this game's gonna break me at this rate if it's gonna start making me rhyme. So this is 
relatively straightforward. Hopefully it gets more complicated with the addition, with the addition of like abilities and party members, because right now I'm just attack, 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 attack. So I can use this guy to slow people down and defend against them, which, ooh, def I leveled up. Got a bunch of stat points. Select new skills for Aurora. Whoa, that got complicated. Okay, so this looks like Interesting. It starts in the middle, but spreads outward in three different directions. It's like a super simple version of the sphere grid from Final Fantasy, I suppose. So, from where I start... Do I have these ones already, or can I pick them? Let's see. So, Slash and Defend. Okay, those are the two abilities I already own. So, those are the two I already have. So, re my Defend ability reduces damage from attacks by 40% increases the speed of the timeline by 70% for the following turn. Okay, so it actually doesn't defend that much of the of the damage that comes at me. Only l less than half. And then powerful slash with 17 attack damn power is what my current attack does. I can gain a powerful light ray that has a 10% chance of killing a targeted dark enemy instantly. Light is strong against dark. It has a long casting time. And some strong pa more spell power than my normal attack does in attack power, assuming attack power and spell power are equivalent, but probably have different resistances or something. Might be good to have a mana, some sort of spell, just to have, you know, actual use of my mana pool. I can increase my mana points. And so this is, it looks like these are all stat points over here. What's behind this light ray? Oh, these are actually mostly, oh, 10% chance of counterattacking a dark creature when attacked. This is a passive skill. Counterattack would be might be worth running towards, and then I can keep upgrading my light ray if I go this way. And my counterattack also upgrades. And I can oh eventually it looks like you can light you can light ray everybody simultaneously. That might be cool. This way we have ma a bunch of passives. You can temporarily bu buff yourself. You do a let's see a, a quick light against a single person. Huh. How is that different? So this uh, long casting time, 36 against a single person versus... Okay, so this is weaker but can one-shot people. This one is stronger but does not, car does not carry such an ability. But you can eventually starlight everybody. That is worth looking into for sure. So the question here, right off the bat, is do I want to buff my normal attacks? Wow, you can attack everybody simultaneously. So do I want to go towards melee attacks, do I want to, or do, do I want to go for magic that comes with a buff? Or magic that comes with an automatic counterattack? That is a good question that I don't have an answer for. But getting an ability right off the... Wait. Well, I guess you can't undo your skills, so that's just going to have to... I guess I'm committed to doing Light Ray instead of Starlight, because I clicked on it once, and then it seems to not let you undo it. Okay. I have, I have Light Ray. The Oculi. Mount Oculi on equipment to improve character stats. Well, I don't have equipment yet, probably. Oh, I do. Add water, fire, lightning. So, water, fire, lightning damage, and increased crit chance. But I don't have any equipment, so... Oh. Okay, so you can just put them on, I guess. So let's just go for some... Maybe I'll just equip some nice little resistance free three times for some reason. Maybe? Let's look at this menu later. I'm not sure what I'm getting myself into. But I'd like to just move... I think I'll just move forward for now. Let's not get overly bogged down in the uh, inventory system and menus before I experience more than a couple fights. What the? Surprise strike! Attack from behind! There's a crazy ghost happening in the background. What if I blind this guy? Maybe he won't see me coming. Oh, can't get up there. How do I get him from- oh, there we go. Let's blind him now while he's facing that direction. And I'll get him from behind. But now do I get the surprise attack? I hope that I get my good- I get to go first now. Yep, he's all the way in the very back. So let's get this guy. Let's try his, this light ray ability that I have never tried yet. Hopefully I cast it before he gets me. There we go. It seemed to work out. 
Did, it, did I just one-shot him? It would appear that I one-shot him because I am a RPG god that knows exactly what he's doing and will never falter. Also, I'm completely out of mana now. Okay, that was worth looking into. Oh! And that was me failing to do a jump. My one jump I had to do. First attempt at platforming failed. It gave me a healing tonic. I enjoy healing, thank you. I enjoy not dying. It is a very good skill to have. 